Once upon a time, there was the Eiffel Tower. As the future symbol of Paris sprang up for the World Fair of 1889, onlookers were amazed both by its ingenious design and by the speed of its construction. Just 21 months to assemble the Iron Lady's 18,000 beams. But beyond engineering prowess, the 300-meter tower, as it was called at that time, was a perfect illustration of avant-garde architecture based on the use of metal. By the mid-19th century, iron and its ally glass were being used more and more in the constructions of new buildings for business and trade. Light had been tamed, leading Victor Hugo to exclaim, they have put summer under glass. Discreetly used to instill new life into aging structures, steel offers an unrivaled ability to blend with the existing decor. A hundred years after its construction, the Pavillon de l'Arsenal was restored, with the use of steel, to its original function as an exhibition hall, and all of the building's venerable charm was kept intact. The main hall in the Lyon Slaughterhouse and Meat Market was also successfully restored, thanks to steel. Today, this pavilion, built in 1928, is the venue for a wide range of cultural events. By 1965, steel was being used not only to construct buildings, but also to add to their style. The first high-rise building in La Défense was given a form worthy of a Cadillac, symbolizing the dynamism of this new business district. Six years later came Beaubourg, and cries of a scandal. Beaubourg ushered in the high-tech era. The steel structure was left uncovered, painted in bright colors, and became the building's light motif. Even the stairs, lifts and escalators were integrated into the outer shell to leave more exhibition space inside. The audacity of this new architecture sparked off a heated debate, but the controversy and extensive media coverage brought steel into the limelight, as it increasingly assumed its place in the architectural landscape of Paris. Thrust to the forefront by a host of avant-garde creations, steel has been rediscovered by architects who have used it with audacity in a number of prize-winning projects. The pyramid rises from newly created underground areas beneath the Louvre Museum. With a delicate and thought-provoking steel and glass geometry. With clear spans of 80 meters, the metal frame creates an immense volume for this multi-purpose arena, designed for sports and music, from rock to opera. The entrances are illuminated by glass roofs, whose slender supports contrast elegantly with the mass of the building. These enclosed glass houses and their stainless steel tubes and hinges bring a light transparent touch to the former La Villette slaughterhouses, now transformed into the Paris Museum of Science and Industry. But steel not only enhances prestigious monuments, it also fashions our everyday environment. Here, steel has a less ostentatious and more functional role. 
but the practical use of steel doesn't detract from its aesthetic qualities. Steel, a metal that marries practicality with imagination, creating a feeling of space. Room to wander around the streets, room to breathe, adding a new dimension to the working environment. has always played an integral role in industrial architecture. Factories evolve, the metal adapts. Steel has ushered in new shapes and forms for the industrial sites of today and tomorrow. From Beaubourg to Guillaumecourt, the architect Piano has modelled steel to suit his creativity. Here, the aerial grace of steel brings dynamism to the space. provides a transition from offices to the factory floor, encouraging communication. The shop floor, the place of production, takes on a new vitality. The same vigour is found in this plant, which manufactures automobile seats. Without the architectural use of steel, it would have been just another factory. Public areas are, by definition, the architect's exhibition hall or theatre, places where he can let his imagination run free. At this library, the ground is marked like an airport runway, complete with landing lights, while the roof suggests the wing of a plane. The architects remind us that reading is a true invitation to a voyage. For this shopping centre, anchored like an ocean-going liner in the heart of the city, the architect uses steel to create a tangible link between Saint-Nazaire's shipbuilding tradition and the future. And why not sometimes add a touch of humour? This windmill sits on top of the Chinon tourist office, located right in front of a nuclear power plant, offering a gentle reminder of the possibilities of alternative energy. Steel means space. It enables architects to create the large areas needed for sports facilities. 
Steel means speed, making it the chosen material for extensions or alterations which must be carried out without disturbing people's way of life. And steel means comfort, earning it a major role in the construction of contemporary multiple housing units. On the inside, steel can actually create a warm atmosphere. On the outside, a coloured steel motif brightens up a street corner. Using a resourceful combination of steel and Venetian blinds, the architects can almost bring the garden right into the living room. Less building material means more space and light, and direct contact with the natural environment. Steel, the metal of invention, versatility, creativity. A hundred years on, steel is still brand new. In cultures throughout the world, across the five continents, steel is still synonymous with imagination. Thank you. 